Welcome to the Melco training video for the Epson F2100 Art Basics. First, we will discuss how to use a raster art program, Adobe Photoshop, or Corel Paint. Using Photoshop as an example, go to File, Open. Here I have a .psd, or Photoshop file. Once open, I always want to check the size and resolution of the image first. The ideal size is approximately the size of your final print. The ideal resolution is 300 dpi. Though you can work with lower resolutions, it's best to design in and ask your customers for high resolution art. Next, let's take a look at our layers and if the art has a fixed background or if we need to clear the background. Here we have our art layer and the background layer separated. I can simply turn off or trash the background layer, allowing for the checkerboard pattern, indicating a transparent background. We need a transparent background to print on dark garments. Once our background layer is gone, we can see that the artboard is larger than our art. To show accurate size, we need to trim away the empty space. Go to Image, Trim, then make sure Transparent Pixels and all four corners are clicked. Our artboard is now the size of our art. From here we could save the art as a PNG and go to print. But let's say that the background is fixed and we need to remove the white background. There are a number of different ways. I'm going to use the magic eraser tool because it's easy for this example. If you have continuous unchecked, every pixel related to the color you pick will disappear as seen here in our mascot's face. We want to keep that white, so we need to ensure the continuous box is clicked. I can then choose which group of pixels I want to erase. From here, I like to add a colored background to see if I have any stragglers or are missing any specific areas. Create a new layer and fill with the color of your choice. You can see the white I want is all gone and there are nice crisp edges. Before I save, let's check the size and resolution. Go to image, image size. The art is approximately the size I want to print in RGB and 300 DPI. If you like the results, delete the background and return to the transparent background. To save, go to file. In Photoshop, we can save rather than export. Save as a PNG, label your design, and now you are ready to print. How to prepare art using a vector program, Adobe Illustrator or Corel Draw. In this example, I'm using Illustrator. Go to File and open your vector image. Select the whole image and ensure of its size in the upper right corner. I like to see it on the gray background area to ensure that there is no straggler white areas. Resize if necessary, ensure the art is in RGB, then go to File, Export as, a PNG. Make sure your resolution is set to 300 dpi and your background color is transparent. Your vector art is now rasterized and ready to print. How to use the basics of Garment Creator for printing on a light garment with no white ink. Open your file. You'll note the art can be placed anywhere in the grid. I'll then go to layout and ensure the size is correct. Then place my art. I like to place about 1 to 1.5 inches from the top of the grid. Since we are printing this on a light garment with no white ink, we will choose light color t-shirt standard. Then we can select our print quality. Level 2 is default, which is good, but I'm going to choose level 3. Next we can pick our color print quality. Again, default is okay, but I'll bump it up just a bit. Under advanced, we'll go with bi-directional as it is faster. Unidirectional might give us a slightly better result, though it is slower. Under print options, we can choose normal print, double strike, or ink blot reduction. I would recommend experimenting with all of these options. I don't mess with color settings, as these are typically done in the graphics program before you bring it into Garment Creator. Once you're set, Press print and your job will spool. Garment Creator Basics on a black shirt using white ink. Go to File, Open, and select your design. Place about 1 to 1.5 inches from the top of the grid. Now because we're printing on a black t-shirt, we want to select Black Color T-shirt Use Garment Black. This way, any black pixels will not print, saving us ink and time. Dark Color T-shirt Standard is the selection we would choose if we were going to use white ink on any shirt color other than black. 
Now choose your print quality. I like the default settings as I am positive I have pre-treated well, have a perfect nozzle check, and am using a good quality blank. You can definitely adjust these settings for more or less white and color ink, but typically the default settings are sufficient. If you need to maximize your white and are using level 6 with double pass, you may need to pause between passes to avoid white ink pooling up. 10 to 15 seconds is usually sufficient. Though it is not necessary, I sometimes bump up the color and white density a few points. I would experiment with this a bit as it may increase vibrancy. Reducing white area will choke back your underbase a few pixels. I suggest moving to four. Now just press print and you're ready to go. How to set up the cost estimator tool. Click the calculator icon. Here you bring up the cost estimator tool. Local settings is how many shirts you're going to print. You can set for any number. The coefficient should match the number of garments. In every case, it makes sense to show the cost of at least one print. Next is ink cost. You spend $217 for a 600 milliliter cartridge. Make sure your capacity says 600 milliliters. Hit OK and you will see your ink cost is 36 cents per milliliter. Under other costs, I like to factor maintenance at about 75 cents per shirt. This covers pre-treat and other maintenance expenses. You can uncheck this variable or add whatever you want, like shirt cost, labor, etc. Now with everything set, click Estimate Job. The cost will populate on the right, showing your ink cost and include your checked variables, giving you a total for one shirt. Now if we go back to print settings and adjust to lay down more ink, and then run the cost estimator tool again, you will see our cost was adjusted. Here's an estimate of cost for printing on a white t-shirt with no white ink. Now that you understand the basics, you are ready to print and make money. Be sure to watch all of our Epson DTG videos on the Melco YouTube channel.